Welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we discuss about the different methods to control the subsurface water. In the previous section we already discussed about the two methods that is barriers and liners and in this section also we continue the same topic that is the methods to control the subsurface water. The first one is drains. So why we are providing these drains? It reduces the quantity of water and directs its movement. It means actually all the purpose of these different materials or different methods is to reduce the quantity and also change the movement of the water flowing. So for the same purpose here also we are using these drains to reduce the quantity and also to change the path of this water flow. Effective drains is depends on the relative permeability of the drain materials and the surrounding materials means we are using different materials means drain materials actually we are using so uh, this if if the condition to be in an effective manner then it depends on the materials which we are using adayithu namukku draining inayittu nammal use allengil drain case nu vendi water ne control cheyanayittu nammal use cheyana materials ne depend cheyum nalla or effective aayittu drain aayittu varanamengil the drain material must retain the migration of the fine particles from the surroundings so another important point the one of the important property of the drain the material which we are using it should retain the migration of the fine particles from the surrounding so if some particles are also coming so it should be retained or hold down adayathu nammal drain the materials karyangal ok use cheyumbol ipo ee water inde flow oda kuda mattu particles um karyangalum undagum appo fine aayulla particles ne karyangale retain cheyanalla oru capability kude nammal use cheyna material nu undayirikana type of drains has to be drained out from affected area and the uplift water pressure is developed by the subsurface water has to be checked nammal drains materials and drain material vechittu or area karyangal ok provide cheyadu in case if there are some uplift water pressures are occurring then that also has to be checked out endengilum uplift pressure bottom til ninnu develop cheyuvanengil inalla pressures karyangal ok nammal check out cheyana the relative sizing of drain materials is critical to proper operation means the materials which we are using nammal drain materials karyangalde case paranju ee parina fine materials and fine particles ne hold down cheyanam appo ee parina vala adinde size karyangal idinellam depend cheyunnundayirikkum it must have a sufficiently greater permeability than the soil it is protect in order to intercept the surface flow means the material which we are using should have the permeability should be more very much higher when compare with the soil then only it can be it is protecting in order to intercept the subsurface flow subsurface flow in allengil ee parana water ne niyandrikkanam engil ee parana drain material means namakku ee parana oru mattoru vadiyilude ee parana water ne maati viduvana cheynathu appo permeability soil ne apeshichu valare adhigam koodadal aayirikkanam at the same time it must not permit excessive passage of the smaller particles in the adjacent materials to avoid piping of the soil already parnirunnu retain cheyanam allengile fine particles materials okka varuvanengil appo adu odappam thanne oru vaadu adhigam water ne permit cheyanum cheyirathu means oru vaadu water flow karyangal sambhavikkum cheyirathu filter cloth is included to prevent smaller particles in the soil from migration into the drain so we are using some filter cloth ഈ പറയുന്ന പാർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് കാര്യങ്ങളെയൊക്കെ പ്രിവെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മൈഗ്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിനിടയിൽ പോകുന്നതിനിടയിൽ ഒന്ന് സംഭവിക്കാതിരിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി നമ്മൾ ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ഫിൽറ്റർ ക്ലോത്ത് കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് സോ വി ക്യാൻ ക്ലാസിഫൈ ദം ഇൻ്റെ ടു കേസസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ബ്ലാങ്കറ്റ് ഡ്രെയിൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ്റർസെപ്റ്റ് ഡ്രെയിൻസസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ബ്ലാങ്കറ്റ് ഡ്രെയിൻസ് ആർ നാരോ ലെയർ ഓഫ് ഡ്രെയിനേജ് മെറ്റീരിയൽ പ്ലേസ്ഡ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ സോഴ്സസ് ഓഫ് സബ്സർഫസ് ഫ്ലോ ആൻഡ് ദ ഏരിയ ഓർ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ബീങ് പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റഡ് എബിലിറ്റി ടു ക്യാരി അവേ വാട്ടർ ഫ്രം ദ സൈഡ് അതായത് നമ്മുടെ പർപ്പസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ ഒരു എയിം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഡ്രെയിനേജ് ഒരു മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഡ്രെയിനേജ് മെറ്റീരിയൽ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രോപ്പറായിട്ട് വാട്ടറിനെ പാസ് മീൻസ് അതിൻ്റെ ഫ്ലോ കാര്യങ്ങൾ കുറയ്ക്കുകയും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഒരു പ്രോപ്പർ ചാനൽ മീൻസ് അതിൻ്റെ ഒരു മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ ഒരു വ്യത്യാസം വരുത്തുകയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പം ബ്ലാങ്കൻ ഡ്രെയിൻസിൻ്റെ കേസ് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ നാരോ ലെയർ ഓഫ് ഡ്രെയിനേജ് മെറ്റീരിയലാണ് വളരെ തിൻ ലെയർ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെയാണ് പ്ലേസ്ഡ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ സോഴ്സസ് ഓഫ് സബ് സർഫസ് ഫ്ലോ ആൻഡ് ദ ഏരിയ ഓർ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ബീങ് പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് എവിടെയാണോ പ്രൊട്ടക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടേണ്ട ഏരിയ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഈ പറയുന്ന ഫ്ലോ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഡെവലപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്ന സബ് സർഫസ് ഫ്ലോ ഇതിൻ്റെ ഇടയിലായിരിക്കണം നമ്മുടെ ഈ മെറ്റീരിയൽ കാര്യങ്ങൾ പ്ലേസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ദ പ്ലേസിംഗ് സാൻഡ് ബ്ലാങ്ക് യു ക്യാൻ ഒബ്സർവ് ആൻഡ് എ ഡയഗ്രാം ഹിയർ മേക്ക് ഷുവർ ദ സർഫസ് ഓഫ് സാൻഡ് ലെയർ 
or blanket is well leveled and trimmed and flattened properly. That is why we layer create layer of drainage material. We have a layer of drainage material. We have a subsurface flow. We have a protected area. We have a water and water control. We have a region of drainage material. We have a drain material. We have a clear item. Make sure the surface of sand layer or blind is well leveled. Okay, we observe that we can see the diagram is very clear. Leveled, trimmed and flat. That is very smooth and very proper and level. This is the drain material provided. So this diagram shows some more clarity you will get. The drain material is provided in this way. Okay. Next one is intercept drains. Another method and the same purpose. Intercept drains are some type of excavated filled with drainage material placed to catch and redirect the flow of subsurface water before it reaches the area of concern. We have observed this diagram clear and clear. We have to control the water and the water and the water and the flow. We have to excavate the drainage material and fill up the drainage material. Excavated filled with drainage material placed in to catch and redirect means नमाद aim अंदा ना ये पर ना water ने flow ने control ये आद बोले ना इधर movement ने passage का रिंगला माइटी बढ़ा नमाद लक्ष्य में दा ना अपन अधिन आते नमाद चाहिए ना ना excavated ये दर्टी पर ना drainage material का रिंगला सेटी है ना next one is subsurface drains Subsurface drains are drains installed below the surface to collect water from the substructure or intercept ground water moving towards the substructure. So actually the purpose of these drains, it is actually installed below the surface, ground surface in the below the create in the water collect in the substructure in the water is going to collect in the usually subsurface drains is installed in the usually these drains are isolated from surface water in order to keep their sizes small as possible and to minimize the cost and if this construction or this subsurface drains is we create in the surface water in the market on it then on it for in the cost to work and other than I the size of the corner of the game and I'm really using another however in special cases the subsurface drains is maybe designed to capture both surface and the subsurface water in some particular cases we are using the subsurface drains is to hold capture those waters from surface and subsurface water सरफेस लेने दम अत बोले ना सबसरफेस वाट निंदम वाला वाटर ने कैप्चर या में डी अलिंग होल्ड डाउन चिया में डी हमारे सबसरफेस ड्रेन्स इसे यूज़ किए नेक्स्ट वन इस वेल्स अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट मेथड विच यू आर यूजिंग टू कंट्रोल द सबसरफेस वाटर डीवोटरिंग एंड द एलिमिनेशन ऑफ सबसरफेस वाटर इस एक्सप्लेस्ट Common types of wells used to dewater, SITR, sums, well points, pumping well and deep well. These are some of the different types of wells which are used. We will discuss in very detail. The sum may merely a collection trench or hole deeper than the area being protected from subsurface water. As the water collects, it is pumped away from the area, effectively drawing down the water table. So here you can observe the diagram which shows the how these sum areas collecting the water you can observe once once again you please go through the definition merely a collection trench or hole deeper than the area being protected from subsurface water that is why we already have a trench we have a little bit of depth 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 so means it to remove the color on it in other as the water collects it is pumped away from the area effectively drawing down the water table means the water table position for a high position on angular are the new water table the position and variable combination wherever some way some some pumps are frequently used to remove surface water and small infiltration of groundwater so usually we are using this to remove the surface water and also some infiltration of this groundwater also to be removed Sums and connecting interceptor ditches should be located well outside the footing area and below the bottom of footing so the groundwater is not allowed to disturb the foundation bearing surface. So we have to provide this sums and this other 
related things should to be located outside the footing area and also below the bottom of footing so next one is well point a well point is 5 to 7.5 centimeter metal or plastic pipe 60 centimeter to 120 centimeter long which is perforated and covered with a screen so actually this how this equipment looks or what is the diameter and the length which is mentioned here so this is the well point system is here you can observe an excavation point is here and we have to pump out those water and using this system well point system use here number water ne pump out here the kalayan so here some more clarity regarding how this well point dewatering system components different components is provided here that under we water ne remove here the kalayan is here under the number of manasili vekanda gariyam instrument in the case of the manasili vachula well point system on a use here the water ne remove here and to use here now multiple closely spaced wells connected by pipes to a strong pump multiple lines or stages of well points are required for excavations more than 5 meter below the groundwater table it means that we have to provide different stages so from this diagram you can observe very clearly this some of the features of this well point systems are mentioned here right we have different stages in this case for 5 meter in depth like the case like the angle multiple lines or multiple stages are going to provide you know clear out right of stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 provide you know number of stages can vary but more than three stages of well points do not seem practical so usually we are provide this stages can vary but moon it is not practical more the number of stages more is the excavation with the required that is the stages to code in the room and then number of people in the pumping systems selling it well point systems in the installations code in the room excavation with them are the world and a bear pumping wells drilled and equipped in a manner nearly identical to a well being developed as a water source so here you can observe this pumping wells is very clearly so this diagram shows the cross section showing how the water table is affected by wells and a topography arrow showing the movement of groundwater beneath a sloping water table in a uniformly permeable rock so in the initial level this is your water table and this water to be pumped out and you can observe a cone of depression is happening here and a water table level is also affected actually that is why we are drilling the water and we are removing the water and we are removing the water and we are removing the pumping wells can drown down the water table water table and the position can affect the means water and the level can affect the water and we are de-watering the water and we are removing the subsurface water and we are controlling the water and we are removing the overflow and we are using the systems we are using the water so next one is deep wells with the submersible pumps pumps are placed at the bottom of the wells and the water is discharged through a pipe connected to the pump and run up through the well hole to a suitable discharge point so in this case we have we are placing the pumps at the bottom of the wells well still we have pump we have place you know in the tower then the water and number discharge is only for take video on a chain the other position like on a way into the angle to number with a no they are more powerful than well points require a wider spacing and a fewer well holes okay when compared to the other systems it is more powerful it can be installed from the surface around the construction area the some of the important features or the installation guiding the case on a burning again they will lower the water table to 30 meter or more in one single stage with the spacing from 6 to 30 meters so it has the power or it ha it will lower the water table up to 30 meters in a single stage itself one well comprises the well itself and its casing well screen some of the components is involved in this deep well so here from this diagram you get some more clarity from this we have to place the pump pump at tomb below you can not to water and I'm gonna pump out either clay on a chain at the water table in the position getting a little bit yes I'm gonna go to Ghana sorry can natural water table in the position lowered water table in the position number one are a clear item and slow so in today's class we discussed about the different methods is like this drains is then in the first case we discussed about the first case we discussed about drains is then the well systems both the both these methods is which we can use to control the subsurface water and the previous section we already we discussed about the barriers and lineages also so this topic is very important when you're considering how to control the subsurface water so i hope the section clear with this we wind up today's session thank you